Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking all about setting up some conditional HomeKit automations using the Eve app. Now this will hopefully give you some great ideas for creating your own more advanced custom automations for your HomeKit setup. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how you can also win some cool Eve products of your own. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for joining me again this week. And for those new here, welcome. My name is Shane and on this channel, I'm building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new videos dropping every single Sunday right here. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out when we publish those new HomeKit videos every week. All right, so today we've got another automations video for you and I'm super excited. I love just kind of coming up and creating these cool custom automations. I'm gonna show you how you can create conditional automations using something like the Eve app. Now this video is sponsored by Eve. If you're not familiar with Eve, they just make some really great HomeKit products. They offer everything from light strips to air quality sensors to HomeKit buttons. They make some really great stuff with a strong focus on privacy. So a huge thank you to Eve for sponsoring this video and also for sending me some products so that we can test out and create some really cool automations to share with you guys. They also sent me some extra goodies that I'm gonna give away to you. So be sure to stick around to the end of this video and I'm gonna tell you how you can win some of these products. We've got some light strips, some uh, Eve Energy smart plugs, and I've even got an Eve flare to give away. The Eve flare is super cool. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite home kit mood lighting accessory. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out my full review on the Eve Flare and also an affiliate link if you want to pick one up for yourself. Uh, but like I said, stick around to the end of the video because you might be able to win one. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm going to put some time codes in the description below if you want to skip around and find certain things. Also, if you look across the bottom play bar, you should see some chapters there where you can skip around uh, if you want. If not, feel free to watch the whole video. But like I said, today we're going to be using the Eve app. And this is a great home kit app i actually recommend this app to people all the time even if you don't have any eve accessories or products uh, just because it's a great home kit app so this app works with all your home kits accessories it's essentially a home kit app but you get more control and access to things in HomeKit using this app than you do with Apple's own Home app. And just as a quick little rant, why can't we create temperature automations in Apple's Home app? That seems pretty basic, basic enough. I feel like we should be able to do that in there. We can't still, but don't worry. Again, in the Eve app, we can create temperature automations and I'm gonna do one of those today as well. We're gonna show you how. And another thing to mention, the Eve app is free. So another great reason to get the Eve app if you're into home kit and home automations. It's free, download it, check out some of the possibilities. So today what we're gonna do is build basically three pretty simple automations, but they're all gonna be conditional automations. And again, the idea is just hopefully to give you guys some good ideas, show you the possibilities, maybe get your creative juices flowing and come up with some kind of creative and good stuff that works for your home kit setup. All right, so the first automation we're gonna set up today is gonna be a simple button toggle. And this is kind of frustrating because this is something you can't do in the home app yet, but say you have an Eve button like this and you just want to push it once to turn the light on, push it again to turn the light off. Well, you can't do it in the home app yet. You can do it in the Eve app and we're gonna use basically the light that we're controlling as the condition. In fact, I'm gonna use a couple lights. So we're gonna do a scene. So when I push this button, it's gonna set a scene. I'm just gonna have two lights in that scene. And when I push that button again, it's gonna turn those lights off. Now there are some ways you can do this in the home app, converting it to a shortcut and things like that. But I find sometimes those automations just aren't super reliable and don't work the way I want. So we're just gonna create some regular automations in the Eve app to make that work. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna use my iPad. So it's just hopefully a little bit easier for you to see on screen. So let's go ahead and open the Eve app. All right, so I'm here in the Eve app and I'm gonna go over to my automations tab and you can see I've got some automations already here set up quite a few, but if you scroll down, and choose add rule. So again, this first automation is for our Eve button. So uh, let's go ahead and choose triggers. We're gonna add a trigger. 
We're gonna choose other value. And I actually set up a room just for this because I have so many HomeKit accessories. Sometimes it gets a little confusing on these demos. So I put all of these Eve accessories into a virtual room here just to make it easy to find. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna choose my Eve automations room. This is just a room that I set up and we're looking for my Eve button and I found that. And we're gonna do a single press. Again, you can set this up for single, double or triple presses. Uh, so you can really add a lot of functionality to one button. I'm gonna choose add. Okay, and now we're gonna choose next. And uh, let's do a value condition. And I'm gonna go back to my Eve Automations room. And I'm looking for my Eve light strip. So I'm gonna choose this one. And I'm gonna choose if this light strip is off. Okay, and choose add. And then next. So the idea here is that if it's off and I push it, it'll turn my scene on. And then we'll do the reverse in a separate, separate automation that'll turn it off, okay? And so the way Eve works is that it has to use a scene for these automations. So you can look for all your scenes. Um, I don't have one set up, so I'm gonna just show you how to create a new one here. We choose add actions. Now we're gonna choose what we want for that scene. And I'm gonna choose uh, my Eve light strip. So we're gonna turn that on. We're gonna turn the color, let's make it like a blue color, like that, and then add the brightness, make sure the brightness is up. Okay, and I'm also gonna add my Eve flare to this, so I'm gonna turn this on. Uh, let's do, I don't know, let's do a green color for this one. And then turn the brightness all the way up on that as well. Okay, so I just created a new scene. Choose next. We have to name that scene. I'm gonna call this Eve mood lights on all right and i can choose oh cool we got a little eve flare thing right there so i'm gonna use that all right so we got the choose next and now you have to name the rule so this is the automation you're going to name that as well i'm going to call this eve button toggle on choose done and so that's it we created that conditional automation that if we press our eve button uh, it's gonna turn those on if they're off. Now we need to do a separate automation that's gonna do the opposite if they're already on, that's gonna turn it off. So let's do that really quick, do an add rule. All right, let's choose trigger, add trigger. Again, we gotta look for that button. So let's go to our Eve room with our Eve button right there. Single press, add, just like before, choose next. Now we're gonna add that value condition, our Eve room here. And the value condition again is gonna be the light strip, except this time we're gonna to choose to if it is on, that way we'll know if it's on, we'll turn it off. Choose next. And now you have to choose your scene. Again, I don't have a scene for this. We'll choose add scene. Choose our actions, looking for those same accessories. We're gonna choose our Eve flare and I'm gonna turn it off. And then we're gonna choose our Eve light strip and I'm gonna turn that off. So that is good to go. Choose add. Next, it's gonna make us name our scene again. I'm gonna call this Eve Mood Lights Off. Choose Done, and Next. And now we'll have to name our automation again. We'll call this one Eve Toggle Off. Choose Done. All right, and there we go, our automation is done. Let's give it a try. All right, and you can see everything works great. So now let's go ahead and jump into the second automation. This is gonna be our temperature automation. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut my fan on in the studio if it gets too hot, but only if I'm not recording. Okay, so that will be the condition there. I have certain lights in here that I use, but I only use those if I'm recording a video. And of course, I don't want my fan to kick on, you know, in the middle of recording a video. So we're gonna use this automation that, you know, if it gets above say 74, 75 degrees in my studio, which does happen a lot, it kind of gets a little bit hotter in this room. So we're gonna set that fan up to cut on only if I'm not recording and it gets too hot. What we're gonna use for this one is just the Eve degree, which you know reads temperature, humidity, and all that stuff. And then just a couple of Eve Energy smart plugs. You know, so I've got just my regular fan and a couple of studio lights plugged into some Eve smart plugs. So that's how we're gonna be able to create this automation here. So let's jump in and do that real quick. So back to our automations, we're gonna do a new rule, trigger, 
We're gonna add trigger and here I'm looking for, you can see you got temperature, humidity, air quality. So you can really do some creative stuff, especially with like the Eve air quality sensor. I'll show you real quick. Uh, if you choose Eve room, you can do stuff like this. If the air quality gets bad, turn on, you know, an air purifier, some cool stuff there, but we're gonna keep it simple right now. I'm gonna go back to temperature and I'm looking for my Eve, we'll do, you will use my Eve degree here. And we're gonna say when the temperature gets equal to or higher than 74.5 degrees, that'll work. We're gonna add a value condition and this is going to be if my light is off choose my Eve Studio light right here. So you can see all the things you can use right here as conditions with the Eve Energy uh, Smart Plug. So there's a lot of options with the Eve accessories and here within the Eve app as well. Uh, so, but we're just gonna use the power, okay? So this light, if my studio light is off, then I want it to run. Otherwise, I don't want it to run. If my studio lights are on, I do not want that fan to kick on. So I'm gonna choose add. Choose next. And now let's go down and we're gonna have to create a new scene for this, add actions. And we're looking for that fan, which is just a, a power, a smart plug right here. So we're gonna turn that on. Choose add, next. We gotta name this scene. So I'm gonna just turn this. So I'm just gonna name this Eve fan on. And let's see if there's a good icon for it. There we go. Choose done. On, we'll choose next and we'll name this. So we'll, we'll just name this if room gets too hot. Pretty simple, straightforward. I like to name my automations something that will help me understand it later when I look back at this. So name these however you want. Okay, and that's it for this automation. For our third automation, let me give you a little scenario. Let's say you have a window that you like to open a lot during the daytime or whatever, especially now since maybe you're working from home, uh, but sometimes you forget to close that window. Wouldn't it be cool if you got some kind of visual cue or reminder at night before you go to bed that you left your window open? So that's exactly what we're gonna do with this automation. And it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is use an Eve light strip and we're gonna have that light strip turn red only at night when motion is detected if we left the window open. So the idea here is say you have a light strip you know, in your bedroom, maybe behind your headboard like I do. So we can set that light strip to turn red in the evening when it detects motion as long as that window is open. So if that window is not open, if it's closed, then this automation won't run. And so that way when I go into my bedroom in the evening and it detects that motion, if the window is open, boom, it's gonna turn red. I'll be like, oh dang, I left my window open. Let me go close that window. So that's a pretty cool automation. Shout out to Adam Bradley who gave me that idea on Instagram. Uh, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'm often talking about HomeKit and automations and all kinds of stuff like that on there. Uh, but shout out to him. Adam actually has a tech YouTube channel as well. So I'll put a link in the description for that if you guys wanna check that out. But I just thought that was a really cool automation. Turn on the light strip before bedtime if the window is left open using an Eve motion sensor and light strip and a window and door sensor. So let's jump into that. Choose add rule, choose our trigger. Our trigger is going to be the motion sensor. So let's choose motion and we can find the right motion sensor right here. So if motion is detected, choose next. Now we'll choose our conditions. We're gonna start with that value condition. Let's look for that window sensor here it is called eve door and the contact must be open all right now let's add our time condition i actually tried doing two time conditions which didn't seem to work too well um, so we're going to do just one we'll do after 9 p.m and see how that works all right so let's choose after nine o'clock p.m and that should be just fine we'll choose next and let's look for our scene and I actually created a scene already for this one, so I can kind of skip that process of adding a new scene, but it's called Eve Light Strip Temperature Red. Choose Next. And all it does is turn that Eve Light Strip Red. All right, now we're gonna name our automation. I'm gonna call this Window Open Bedtime Notification. Choose Done. 
And there you go, we're all done setting up our three conditional automations. We did a temperature automation and just did some really cool stuff that we can't do in Apple's Home app, um, all using HomeKit, using any of your HomeKit accessories. But again, we use the Eve accessories. And speaking of Eve, as mentioned in the beginning, we have some stuff to give away. Um, I'm really excited about this. What we're gonna do is there's gonna be three winners. Two winners are gonna receive a Eve light strip and an Eve energy smart plug. And the third winner is gonna receive the same thing, the light strip and the Eve energy smart plug, as well as the Eve flare. Again, the Eve flare is super cool. I love this thing. I have one in my own setup. I've been using it for a while. Uh, again, full review in the description below if you wanna check that out. So the instructions to enter this contest are pretty easy. I'll put all this in the description below if you wanna check it out. And also I'll put it on my website and make it really easy. All you have to do is just subscribe to my YouTube channel and then leave a comment down below in this video and then head on over to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and, and tag two of your friends in the comment section of the Eve giveaway post. And you'll have one week from the release of this video to enter to win. So good luck to everyone who enters. And if you don't win, don't worry because I have plans to do some more stuff like this in the future. I really love this. So I'm gonna do this as much as I get a chance to. And again, if you have not clicked the bell icon and turned on notifications for my channel here on YouTube, please do that so you get notified every week when I post new videos, new home kit videos every Sunday right here. If you enjoyed this video, please give a big thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching and until next week, we'll see y'all later.